है गाइस वेलकम टू कोर्स लर्नर तो पिछली क्लास में आपने सीखा कि एच का बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर किसे कहते हैं तो आइए जानते हैं कि पैराग्राफ टैग्स कैसे यूज किया जाए तो आइए शुरू करते हैं Hey guys, so let's open our file first. So today we are working with Visual Studio Code, which is an advanced version of Text Editor. It is really helpful while writing codes for HTML and even other languages. So if you want to have this application, then you can download it from link provided in description box. So let's move forward. Here is our file index.html. and as we have seen in the last chapter so this is our html basic structure provided here so let's close this out so let me zoom it for you guys that's good let's change the title first so we are going to make it paragraph we will add some sentences in our body tag for example we are taking so this is sufficient for our example now save this file and open this in the browser now there you can't see any paragraphs right now it's just a simple text displayed in browser so let's return to our code editor now we're going to cut this out and we will add here paragraph tag paragraph tags are uh, recognition with p tags now we going to paste our content here and we will cut this out content too and add another paragraph tag here and paste our content now save this file and let's check out in the browser so now you can say this that our browser has divided this all content into two different parts it's all because our paragraph tag here this is our first paragraph and here this is our second paragraph let me open the editor so here you can see this is our first paragraph and this is our second paragraph so that's how we use our paragraph tags let's see what are the attributes in html in html attribute defines some additional functions in the elements so here we have element p that means paragraph so to define an attribute we have to specify the attribute in opening tag so give the space and now write the name of the attribute that is a line a line equals to now you can provide here double quotes or single quotes it's your choice so now we have to give the value so here we have four values the first one is left let's save it and open in the browser so let me arrange both windows okay here you can see that we have an property align which value is left and by default our browser put all the text and paragraphs to the left alignment so we will not gonna see any major changes here so we have another value that is right so let's save the file and refresh now you can see that the content of our paragraph are now aligned to the right side of our browser so our next value is center save the file refresh the browser and now you can see that our content is 
in the middle of our browser now move to our last value that is justify save the file refresh the browser so now you can see that with this justify value our content is equally aligned with left side and right side also our content is in the middle of our browser so friends that's it for today learn more about tags in next videos